Alright everybody, it's Karate Dave at All Star Karate. Hey, I want to talk to you about weapons today. Uh, you know what, here at All Star Karate, we use all traditional weapons. Uh, you know what, I don't know, it, it's, it's 2020. To be honest, I'm, if I ever get into a fight, I'd be totally outmatched. Somebody would have a gun and i have a stick. You know, or that, that's kind of how it is. But you know what, To be, we're, we're nice people. And we're probably never going to have to use this stuff. So we want to use this stuff that's really cool and fun to play with, right? So, and of course, the essence of martial arts is in the sword. So if once you learn how to use a sword, theoretically, you should be able to use all the other weapons. And they do kind of all blend together. So it's not, they're not all completely separate, but they, they have different categories. Like this would be considered an edged weapon along with a knife. Or like a spear, right? Or a spear could be a projectile weapon also. And then the wooden weapons. Now we really focus a lot on the on the wooden ones, like the bow staff and the nunchucks. And as we're as we're doing those bow staffs and the nunchucks, you can find those anywhere. If somebody's chasing you, you can find a tree and you, you break off a branch and you got a stick, right? But again, back to the sword. When we're practicing, we practice the old ways. We practice first with a draw. You learn how to draw your sword. And then you learn some standard basic techniques. You learn how to chop. We learn how to block. We learn how to slice. And then you learn how to put the sword away without cutting your fingers off. That's kind of an important part of it. So you want to be able to go a second time, all right? So, and then when we get to our bow staff, oh, these are great, man. This is like a, like a big stick. Somebody's chasing me down, a, down an alley. I see a tree. There's a stick. I find it. Cut off some branches. I've got a weapon. You cannot defeat me. So, we do a lot of fun bow staff stuff. And there's a lot of cool tricks we can do. We do the flying kicks with the bow staff, where you're jumping up and, and we're kicking way up over our head. We're doing circles, where we're going around in circles and kicking stuff. They are just so much fun to play. And then, as we're going over here, we got our, we got our, our shorter bow staffs. These are like mini bow staffs. If you put one together, then it'd be a bow staff. But because they're separate, these are like Filipino fighting sticks. They're called the Screema sticks. And we use these, uh, you can use just one at a time, or you can go ahead and use them both at the same time. So whatever, however you want to do it. We have different techniques, we have different drills to be able to do that. So anyway, so those are the, the wooden ones. And then, of course, my favorite are the nunchucks. Oh, nunchucks are the best. I get a lot of practice with my nunchucks. And you know what? I do this watching TV. This is how you get good at, at weapons. You just practice in the downtime. Couple of minutes here, couple of minutes there, and they're accessible. And now in Arizona, they're even legal. So that's kind of an important part. So, I don't know, what you guys are gonna practice with, it's not as much fun for me to go to the shooting range, although I do go to the shooting range. I know how guns work. I know how to, I know which ones are real and which ones aren't. And I think it's important as a, as a martial artist that you know about all weapons. The ones I like to practice and the ones I like to teach are the traditional weapons. So, if you like that too, Get out your nunchucks, start playing with us. See you next time.